All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry, the most delectable um, food connoisseur Chupacabra man. And today we're going to be jumping back into the world of Android and generally mobile games, starting with Cooking Fever by Nord Current. And this is a game that I've had a fair bit of fun while playing around with and getting used to using the Android emulator Bluestacks. And it's just a fun little game about managing your own restaurant or bakery or various food locations that you see on this map. And inside of it, you have things like, you know, you can upgrade your restaurant and your kitchen and unlock new and stranger devices that you all, you have to coordinate all of the different items inside your restaurant so that people walk away happy and full of delicious edible things. So I've unlocked a couple of locations. I've got this food court right here where you start out the game and I have quite a few like upgrades unlocked, about 50% of them and only about 30% of the interior upgrades. And I also have access to the bakery, which I just bought like the other night. And that is a whole different, different can of worms. Let's just put it that way. So let's start with the basics. We'll go here to the fast food court, which is our starting kitchen. And we'll start with like level eight because it's not ultra crazy and I can get a good feel for things. So basically the name of the game is we're playing around with maintaining hamburgers and hot dogs and we don't want them to burn on the stove or else we have to throw them out. And then of course, various customers want a combination of different things. So we gotta keep them cooking and keep them out the door nice and fast. So Earl here just wants a regular hot dog, which is great because anything more complex will make me go absolutely floopin' insane. And then Janet just wants a Coke and a burger. There you go, Janet, get your face out of here. You're creeping out the kids. And this is basically the game. You feed people, you take their money, you try to get them their food before the timer runs out. And then you have all these little individual hinks to worry about in between. And you always want to have some food on the griddle and some buns ready to receive that food. Otherwise, your food will burn. And you don't want that to happen. That's, that's not a good thing at all. So I'm not doing too badly. I'm falling a little bit behind of keeping food cooking. But that's not too bad. And this is, yeah, this is the core of the game. Now, there are some weirder upgrades that I've had some experience with. One of them is actually, you might have noticed that in the background here, we've had some customers want things like little cupcakes. And I do have cupcakes available, but the problem with cupcakes is it's one of those features that people use, or like this game uses, because it's a freemium game. They use it as a way to get you to spend more money on stuff. They want you to spend money on in-game items, in-game money. In this case, it's like sapphires or gemstones or whatever. And it's a cute feature, but unless they give you a fair amount every day of in-game currency, which they're kind of stingy, but they also don't charge you for a lot of things either. You just don't have the ability to buy a lot of that stuff. So that's where things kind of get on the hinky side. Now, one of the things you can do is you can upgrade different parts of your kitchen. So you've got a couple different options here. One of the things you can do is you can upgrade your machines so that they run faster. They offer you more slots for different food items or whatever. Uh, again, I don't really like that you have to immediately spend money like in-game money to upgrade stuff like that should be something they really fling at you once you're into like the second or third restaurant location if they really want to go crazy with it. But you can upgrade the ability to have more open slots for food so you can constantly have three menu items waiting for people. You can make your different ingredients cheaper like I can get cheaper buns by buying in bulk sort of a thing. And then eventually you unlock things like food warmers, which you can have spare food on the side, ready to be put into a bun. And then eventually you unlock things like, you know, cupcakes or french fries as you level up and go further into your kitchen. 
Likewise, and this is something I actually thought was a little bit smarter than some of the other restaurant sim games that I've played, both on PC and on mobile, is you can actually upgrade your restaurant. So if you look here, if I upgrade my tables, it actually increases the time people are willing to wait for their food because they have a comfortable place to sit. And because they have a comfortable place to sit, they're happier and they give me more money. So that's actually an upgrade I wouldn't mind putting in here. Now again, this is one of the ways they get you. If you want those upgrades to take place immediately, you've got to spend in-game currency, and I don't have a lot of it, and like 10 gems is a dollar. In fact, that's actually kind of a ripoff. 10 gems for a dollar? You should be giving me like, I don't know, 100 gems for a dollar. That's what other people do, what the heck? And then you can get like a TV, which similarly makes people happier. They'll wait longer. You can install a disco ball so people can boogie woogie, which will definitely increase their tips. Or you can do things like I installed a couple of plants and plants make people come. They're like, that place looks upbeat and classy. I want to go there to shovel food into my face. Again, some of the stuff is more expensive, but if you like playing this game and you want to upgrade your restaurant and become the king of the restaurant food court or the queen or the pandimensional demon lord, uh, you can do that by doing that. So let's see, I want to step up my game. Let's go to, let's go from eight to like 14. Now things are gonna start stepping up. People are gonna come faster. They wanna start having crazier combinations of food. They'll probably start wanting French fries and I have more things to worry about, basically. So we wanna keep these food thingy maboppers full as long as humanly possible without letting any food that's already on the griddle burn because I'm busy serving a customer or handing them some other object like a Coke. So there we go. And one of the things I can say about this game right off the bat is that it's very critical that you pay attention to the sounds going on. And that I kind of like. You don't actually have to look directly at your griddle top in order to see that the food is done. It's just making a beepy noise waiting for you, and you can do the thing. So I need to put pickles and lettuce in here, give to Sally. Sally, you're you're always a wonderful return customer. You all want a crazy combination of burger. What the fuck? Ever, everyone settle down. Holy shit. All right, we'll put that there. Give to you. Give to you. Give to you. Drink. 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 And you can actually control the rate at which people come to your restaurant by simply not taking their money immediately that's left on the counter. For whatever reason, people are just too pussy to come up to the counter if someone else left their money there. Like, they might be think that somebody thinks they're stealing or something. I don't know. It's weird, but I'll take it. Fuck it. It's one of the few ways that you have to control the influx of customers to your bistro. So there we go. We'll give you some of that. Now, after this level, I will do something to make my life a little bit easier. And this is actually one of the few upgrades that I have purchased that required a bunch of in-game currency. So it looks like mostly the in-game currency comes when you reach certain achievement milestones or you level up. So it, it can be quite a while in between your achievements that you can get more of the in-game currency, which means that, that upgrade that you want might take you a really long time. So actually, let's go back to our our kitchen upgrades. And I need to find my griddle top. There's a toggle button here. One of the specials that they gave me was just for a couple of bucks of in-game, like, gold and some of the in-game diamonds. I think it was just like five. They gave me an automatic grill pan. And this thing is absolutely ridiculously wonderful to have. I'll just show you guys. So we go to level 26. Let's start things grilling, put on some french fries, and you see here, this thing automatically cooks my food, and I don't have to worry about anything burning because it's got like that crazy Japanese intelligent technology business going on here. So you want fries, you want fries, holy shit, everyone wants fries, everyone calm down, oh my god. Look, Luann, I told you you gotta stop eating like 50 things of fast food a day, you're gonna make yourself sick. You too, Chim D Timmy and Jimmy. You guys come here every day, and I'm starting to suspect that your parents don't actually know what a kitchen is. Like, they just don't seem to feed you at all. See, so you want... 
this, and I don't have any french fries ready. Everyone just wants french fries. And french fries is one of those things that, like, costs actual money to upgrade, and I don't always have upgrades for that available. So, holy snikes. This is ramping up really fast, faster than I'm prepared for. You have that, and you have that, and you want a tomato, or a, a thing with... Well, probably if you wanted a burger, it should have a burger inside of it, more than likely. So I missed out on that tip. But you can just see, like, this thing ramps up really, really fast. And simply having one or two upgrades to make things go a little bit faster, a little bit more automatic, is key to not going absolutely dog crazy in here. So let's give this to you, and more french fries on the griddle. My god! Jeffrey, Stevens, Luann, everyone settle down with your face holes. Here, have your thingy. Get out of here. All right, you want this, and you wanted this, and you want this, and you want this with lettuce. All right, get out of here, Susie. My god, you crazy people. Lagging out my computer slightly with all these shitty particle effects. My god. Why would you do that? I thought we were friends. So here you can see, like, a lot of- they give you the option of constantly making a lot of in-game currency by simply selling people cupcakes. But again, I just don't have cupcakes available, so I can't monopolize on their constant hunger and urge for those merciless cupcakes, and I earned an achievement. Serve 700 clients. I need to upgrade something. What can I upgrade? Um, burger patties... I want that french fry machine to go faster. I'll upgrade you to cook three portions at one time. I need more french fries. And then... Was there a receptacle for french fries? So there's like a- there's like a platform that the french fries are constantly, like, sit on. You need a certain amount of tabletop space for them. But I guess that- I guess three at once upgrades the tabletops, so that should be fine. Uh, let's buy some upgrades in- in here while we're at it. We could do with some surround sound speakers. And that'll be ready in a minute. We can also buy a ridiculously expensive arcade machine, but I am out of the diamonds to do that, so we won't do that just yet. I will upgrade the TV, upgrade the tables, and, yeah, that's about all we can upgrade reasonably without either running out of the dollars or buying with, in, with money. And, you know, honestly, the amount I've played with this, if I keep going with this, I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to spending a little bit of money on it. But I'd almost, I always just prefer it if you just let me buy the game outright instead of trying to, like, you know, nickel and dime me. Like, you know, it's weird. The, the mobile market is just so screwed up with the way people buy stuff. And I honestly, I can't blame game developers for monopolizing on it, because they just don't have a choice in a lot of cases. So, let's try level 27. So am I the only one who feels like cupcakes are an odd item to get at a place like McDonald's? Like, I know McDonald's offers you a little bit of everything, but at the same time, I feel like... Beyond, like, a, a Frosty or something quick to drink, that's just going a little bit crazy. Alright. Blonde Hank wants just a burger with stuff on it. Jenny, there you go. Get, get your pants out of here. Oh, look, it's Deborah. Deborah, how was your vacation to Malibu? Did you, did you bang the surf instructor again? Because she's pretty hot. I'd bang her, too, if she wasn't a lesbian. It's not that that's a problem, it's just that, you know, lesbians tend not to bang dudes. It's a really unfortunate side effect of that whole thing. But, you know, whatever works for you. If you got a Malibu boo doo doo, do the thing, right? Oh, see, this is just so much better. So much more manageable now that I simply have an upgraded french fry station so that I can have a constant influx of french fries for hungry customers. Let's give this to you, and we'll put some ketchup on this. You want french fries and a soda. And, you know, I can say that this is actually one of the better performing games that I've checked out recently, or in recent memory, for just overall. It performs well on my computer, and it also performs relatively well on my phone, because I always test these things on my actual phone. Unfortunately, simply due to technical constraints imposed by Google, 
and their hardware manufacturers, I will probably never be doing another review on the phone, at least not for the conceivable future, simply because Google has made it nigh impossible for me to record stuff. They've got all this weird HDCP encryption, and there's just no way to get around it for the most part. Oh, was that it? Was that all the money I was gonna make? Oh, yes! Oh, I just barely made it, you guys. Just barely. But yeah, like, Google has got this HDCP encryption that keeps certain devices from seeing the HDMI output from devices, and with a recent Android update on my Nexus 5X, even with an HDMI splitter, which is supposed to strip out the encryption, there's just nothing I can do. They've just gotten too smart with it, 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 you can't disable it, and I just said fuck it. So we're just recording with OBS on the computer. You know, and I gotta say, like, I hate Apple for everything else for mobile, but God bless them, they don't, like, encrypt the shit out of things. You can actually do stuff with their technology if you were a YouTuber. Which is an odd statement, if you really think about it. So let's see here. Gotta step up my game. This is probably the last uh, serving that we'll do for, or yeah, this last round we'll do for this episode of Cooking Fever, because I think I'll do a couple of episodes here just to keep, why do you want two french fries, Jamal, you crazy person? That's gonna make you sick. Too much oil and salt. It's gonna fuck up your blood pressure, bro. Jesus. You're a crazy person, you know that? Oh, then, then again, like, that's the only reason why I ever bother going back to McDonald's a lot of the time is because they have the best french fries. Otherwise, it's like Burger King or, or fuck it kind of a deal. Okay, I gotta fill back up these burger patties. You want... Uh, uh, you guys both want a... a you want a regular burger with just lettuce and you want an everything burger. Come on, lettuce, get in that burger. You're just being spicy now. All right, and you want to just lettuce. Boy, there's a lot of money on the table. My God, things are things are going extra crazy. Better make sure we've got some extra stuff on the griddle. So you want a regular hot dog, and then you wanted this with just lettuce, or not lettuce, tomatoes, and this is actually a really difficult game, now that I think about it to try and do live commentary, and also feed people. Now, the other thing I thought was really cool this game is just, if you want to sort of milk people into sticking around for longer, you can give them certain items at a certain pace so that they don't get angry and leave immediately. And that actually makes a lot of real-world sense, because at McDonald's, you know, they give you your drink first, and then you'll sit there and wait around for a while for the rest of your meal, and you won't be spicy because you're sipping on your drink. And that's actually, if you think about it, that's actually a very simple, yet kind of brilliant life hack to get around, you know, people being pissy about waiting for five minutes in the world of instant gratification. And, you know, that's something that even I'm really guilty of, especially you know, when I'm working with digital things with clients, is just having to wait. Having to spend a lot of time on things, and it drives you bonkers after a certain point. But yeah, so this has been Cooking Fever, everybody. Uh, it's a pretty fun mobile game. It's by Nord Current. They have a couple of other games, but they don't seem to be in the same genre. And I find it was pretty good. I mean, they don't have an excessive amount of, like, in-your-face, buy this, buy that, buy this. It's, it's on the fringe, it's on the periphery, and it's not bad. They do give you an, uh, an iffy amount of in-game currency for free, even though you start to require lots of in-game currency for the various upgrades pretty quickly. But on the plus side, once you, I'm not gonna go over this next episode, once you get into things like the bakery, then that kind of resets and you can get back to spending money on whatever for upgrades. So here we've got like, the bakery's got, you know, you make coffee, milkshakes, and cakes. That's the bakery. And we'll be covering that next episode. So links are for this game in the description if you're interested. I'm not sure if this is available for iOS. If I find out that that's, it is, you'll find that in the video description too. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
There'll be the occasional mobile game on the horizon, probably forever now. And I'll catch you next time. Toodles, everybody, and have a good one.